When you start a new job, the first thing you learn is how your performance will be measured. Maybe it will be your ability to save the company money or make the company money. Generally, this has to do with marketing and sales. Sales is focused on making money. Marketing is focused on assisting sales to make money and customer service. Usually that's how much money have you saved us by cutting costs this quarter. So here's the problem with these internal general metrics that are used. If you're measuring your people by their ability to either make or save you money, guess what? That's going to hurt the customer experience because the customer gets lost. The customer is not a priority. You are what you measure. And we have to look at the priorities of the people within the company to understand what those measurements are and why they're not helping our customer experience. First of all, let's think about the board. These are the top dogs at the top of the pyramid. The board generally care about shareholder value, stock price, and financial performance. The CEO cares about pleasing the board. CEO also cares about financial performance, about Wall Street quarterly profits. How about the rest of the C-suite? They generally care about what the CEO cares about. So did we improve our financial performance? What are the sales of my group? And so on and so forth. VP, director, manager, generally all of these different priorities have to do with the priorities of the board. And if the board and the CEO are all focused on financial performance and that's it, that's all anybody talks about, guess what? That's going to hurt your employee experience and that's going to hurt your stock price because customers are going to flee from that type of company. If we put performance metrics in place across the company that focus on the customer, you will see your culture change. You will see the quality of your products and services change because every person's job has an impact on the customer experience, whether you realize it or not. For example, let's take a bakery. It's not just the person selling the cake to you um, that has the ability to shape the customer experience just because they're in front of the customer. How about the baker baking the cake? Who bought the, the products, the ingredients? Who provided the recipe for the cake? Who bought the oven? Uh, what is the performance of all the tools that the baker has to make the cake? What's the packaging of the cake? So you see, it's not just that frontline worker. A lot of people behind the scenes impact the customer experience. So how are you measuring them? And what are the priorities put in place by each person? And it's not just a, an individual view. If you think about the group, there's also group think. How did our group perform? And if those performance metrics are not tied to the customer experience, you might find that your company has completely lost sight of why they are in business and that's to serve a customer. So I really appreciate you watching this video and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel for more fun case studies and anecdotes around customer experience.